All right, guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro. This is day three and day four with this wonderful device running Conquer OS with the built-in kernel that comes with the ROM. We are about to conclude this video today and the real life ROM review because I am about to flash something else and move into the weekend testing stuff for you guys so you can get access to some amazing content related to custom ROMs. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. All right, so day three and day four with Conqueror OS. Now, as I said, my personal SIM card is in there. I have been using it as a personal device, all my banking applications, entertainment applications, ANX camera, everything that I need on my personal phone has been on here for almost four days now. I've had a complete discharge cycle, but unfortunately I've not had a complete charge cycle because I was either getting calls or I had to go somewhere. So 50, 60% battery. But to be honest, this is real life ROM review and this is how I use my phone. I never really pay attention to how much the battery is and how much I have charged it. I always keep it between 50 to you know 80 or 90 percent. That is usually the health range for lithium polymer batteries. And that is what I have been doing over the years. So first things first, I'm going to talk to you about the UI because the UI element is something that you look at 90 percent of the day. Every time you unlock the device, every time you look into an app, every time you do something, the user interface is what you're going to play around with. And for me, luckily in Conquer OS, the UI has been butter smooth, rock solid, no problem whatsoever. Now, I would give it all the points as far as smoothness is concerned, only if I had not used amazing combinations like Lighthouse ROM with NGK kernel or Lighthouse ROM with lip kernel or Aero OS with lip kernel personal those combinations when it comes to ui smoothness are next level thanks for these suggestions from wolf our amazing testers group is doing a brilliant job i would really want to thank each and every one of you one by one in all of these videos and that is the reason so many videos are becoming possible so as i said earlier the experience in the ui has been absolutely fine if you're someone who is coming from mi ui you're just gonna love it you're gonna find it so much smooth so much fluid and you will not have any issues at all but trust me there are better options available out there right now moving on we will talk about this particular aspect that is quick tiles because majority of my things keep happening over here because these are the things that i use in daily basis like dark team for example and uh, the torch auto rotate these are the very very basic things that i use now advanced things like invert colors screencast screencast i used to use them while streaming and stuff hbm mode cabc mode refresh rate toggle so all these toggles are really really useful you can go ahead and use them in daily usage but i did not find any major use for that now to tell you the truth i've been using a single sim card and i am on geo 4g in india we do get lte plus over here in fact if you see in a moment, this should show LTE plus. And if you talk about the speed test of the LTE connection, let me quickly show you that it does pretty decent speeds on this particular ROMs as well. So, you know, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people highly rely on the 4G connectivity and it really, really makes a difference to their lives how good a connectivity a particular ROM provides. Now, right now we are getting LTE signals, but in sometimes we do get LTE plus, that is carrier aggregation. I have seen carrier aggregation work on this ROM and the speeds going above 100 Mbps. So that is something you don't need to worry about at all. Now, while we are talking about the real life ROM review, another important aspect for you guys would be Wi-Fi calling, would be normal calling, call drops and network congestion and stuff like that. Conquer OS for that matter has not had any issues at all. I can definitely tell you that even with the Wi-Fi connectivity, there have been no issues. 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, the internet on Wi-Fi has been working just fine. For example, I'm running a 100 Mbps connection and the router is just like about a couple of feet away from where I'm shooting at right now. And if we talk about the download speeds on Wi-Fi, let's have a look what speeds we get. There you go. 
So Airtel Fiber has this habit of giving more speed than they promise. And as you can see, I'm getting almost a complete bandwidth on 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And this is rock solid across the board. Even if I switch from 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz, or if I switch from a normal call to a Wi-Fi call or a Wi-Fi call to a normal call, the experience is pretty, pretty seamless. Now, something that I don't use, something that I've not tested is carrier video calling. You can go ahead and try that. So even when using heavily, the device doesn't heat up a lot. Now, as I said, the, this particular ROM is giving you decent numbers, not so great numbers. That is the reason you're getting excellent battery life. So on the battery life front, let's go ahead and have a look at the battery backup screenshots and the charging screenshot. All right. Now, this screenshot was taken yesterday, 8, 18 p.m., right? The battery was at 8% and we had around six hours of screen on time and the phone was on battery for one day and eight hours. Now this particular bump that you see over here, I think is at the mid midnight when I was sleeping. That is the reason it didn't lose a lot of battery. Now, along with this, if we keep going to the left, you will see various charging screenshots. You do see that the charge current is 3,350 milliamp hour. So it does say here one hour, six minute to 99%. So consider one hour, 10 minutes or one hour, 15 minutes at the most to charge from zero to hundred percent and for a 5000 milliamp hour battery on a custom rom that is a pretty pretty neat score is what i believe now we have the battery covered we have the charging covered and if you'll ask me that does the banking application work let me just show you real proof that despite having majisk root access i have just enabled majisk hide and say if we go to the hdfc banking application and this is another feature that i would want to talk about use face fingerprint app lock i've been using it all day long and it works flawlessly each and every time. And as you can see, the banking application is working fine. So no issues with the banking application at all. Netflix, Amazon Prime HD, Widevine L1 has been working great as well. Now, someone recently mentioned also talk about the haptics over here. Now, that is a really, really important mention there because haptic feedbacks are something that I am a big fan of, especially if you've used a OnePlus flagship or if you've used the iPhone devices or Apple devices, you will see that they have super amazing haptics. Now, unfortunately for the Poco X3 Pro by default from factory, it doesn't really have such a strong haptic feedback motor. So the haptic feedback on this particular device is more or less just like the stock ROM, nothing impressive, just basic haptic feedback. So all in all, if you ask me while I conclude this video, did I have any major issues using this ROM as a daily driver? No. Did I click pictures using this ROM? Yes, I did use ANX camera. You can go ahead and use Gcam. And if you want to know how to install ANX camera, we have a video in the Poco X3 Pro playlist. You can go ahead and follow that. So all in all, Conquer OS as a whole, you can definitely use it as a daily driver. I did game on it. The gaming experience is decent, just like the battery backup being excellent because of some conservative nature and if you clash if you flash a custom kernel like lib personal or ngk kernel i'm pretty sure conquer os will also give you a much much better experience so all in all this rom passes the real life rom review test let me know in the comment section which is the next rom that you would want me to test in real life scenarios until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye